Get ready for green. First of all, have fun when you're here. You're gonna see firsthand connected vehicle technology connected to all of the traffic signals out here. School bus alert. School bus stopped ahead. They're gonna be work zone alerts, pedestrian alerts. Speeding in school zone. So keep your eyes open, pull out your phones, record things so you can see what's going on. Anyone with the blue shirt that says glance on it, look for those people and they'll help you out. So welcome to the IATL and have a lot of fun today. Welcome to the IATL. I'm Brian Mulligan. I'm the CEO of Applied Information. We're the technology company behind Glance, a smart city platform of connecting everything to everything. And the automotive companies and the technology companies needed a place where they could get together and collaborate because, as they said, the only connection between cars and the infrastructure was in the rubber on the tires of the road. Now everything's connected and they needed a place to collaborate and that's what you see here and you're going to experience this morning. It's a working lab and you can see some partners that we have with us, Monarch and Q3 and Asa Abloy on the security side and so forth. We all collaborate here to make the world a better place. So emergency vehicle preemption is the ability for vehicles to communicate to upcoming intersections and ask for green lights before they ever arrive. So we're seeing agencies who have five or six minute response times dropping in the three minute range for response time simply by applying the technology to the intersections. You saw preemption running, you experience what a fire truck sees when it turns the lights green to get more safely to an incident, to save that minute, which is literally a life and death situation. Our role in government is to facilitate innovation by the private sector. It's critical to have this technology that enables us to save lives. Speeding in school zone. This might not be a secret to you, the government isn't really innovative, but what we can do as elected leaders is create an environment that helps private leaders like yourselves, like Brian, this organization, and everyone here to do the things that make the world better.